previously on American Truck Simulator. What a weird little town. Bit, bit, bit ghost towny. American Truck Simulator. We're in Colorado, so we're trying to cover what's left of that particular one. Is it? Am I right in thinking that uh, Missouri's not far away? Is Missouri here? I think that's Missouri, isn't it, over here? I, think, I don't think we're far away from actually doing that. So we've got a few places to go, though. We've got um, Durango, is that right? I think that's how you pronounce it. We've got uh, Montrose, which is over here. We've got um, Grand Junction, we've got Steamboat Springs, and Rangeley to cover, cover off the remainder of, uh, of, 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 of Colorado. So let's see if we can find a, a journey that takes us round one of those places, the quick freight market. So we've only got the, the five, it's not many. Let's see if we can find one that takes us somewhere we want to be. Colorado Springs, that's not really where I want to be. I want to be a little further over. Colorado, Colorado. Let's look at some Colorado. What is it with this this map? There's nothing that goes. Colorado doesn't ship to Colorado, it seems. Yeah, we seem to ship ship to Colorado Springs, so we can go back on ourselves, but we can't go anywhere close to where we want to be. I think we might just take a normal little trundle here, actually. Um, I haven't got very much time today, so I will I will kind of admit to to not being the uh, the the as 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 available as I would like to be with it. There we go. Sorry, volume turned up a little bit there. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, I can admit to being a little bit, you know, sort of behind with time-wise. So let's have a little look at this map, and let's, let's just take us over here. I don't know how far that is, actually. It seems looks like quite a way, actually. Let's just take us to the dealership there. God, it's, it's three hours. It's a three-hour journey. I tell you what, though, we'll have a nice, l l nice sort of trundle across there at least this way we might actually get ourselves a few journeys that we want within that i'm sure i'm sure i can afford a, a quite sort of little break across the way how you been you had a good week this week you've been busy you've been busy you know anything no yes oh well i hope you've had a lovely week anyway i have a really interesting week well end of the week was really interesting Sorry, I've got coffee. Um, but I had a very interesting end of the week. It's one of the reasons why I'm recording this uh, um, sort of late in the day. Um, I, I basically got um, I got uh, I got sort of uh, uh, chucked stuck in uh, uh, three different sort of uh, uh, tailbacks related to three. Sorry, not three, four different crashes yesterday. Um, firstly, was a was a major road crash where a, a truck had. Um, thrown itself over the, the, the central reservation in, in our version of a, um, a motorway or an interstate. It had gone over the middle and it basically closed the road and I passed it initially in the morning and it was still there um, nearly seven or eight hours later when I re was returning from the job I was doing. It was about seven or eight, maybe it was uh, six hours later when we were returning from the job that we were on. Um, then um, we sort of, as we as we were going past that one, there was another one that had also caught across the same set of reservation a little further along. Um, and by a little further along, I'm talking like 10, 15 miles. Then we had, um, then we had, uh, on the way back, we decided to bypass this the the, the tailback from the uh, from the uh, truck itself that had gone over. So we did that, which is fine. Except for the fact that uh, that the um, on the road that we took, which was a little old, a little little what says a B road. I don't know what you call those in the states, but um, you know they're not highways, but the B roads, the little B road. Um, there was a truck that had thrown itself off the side of the road there, so that took a little bit of time to pass. Followed by um, where we literally were a quarter of a mile from our office, somebody had a crash and was being towed away. Um, and there was no point in going round it because to go round it, it was a 10 mile detour um, around the, 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 the sort of the, the, the area we're in. It's, it's no, you can't really access it any other way. Um, and we ended up with, 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 a, with, a, with another sort of long way. It was a very long day yesterday. So, so yeah, we, we kind of, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't brilliant. Here we go, there's a train coming, I'm gonna stop. 
think it's coming. Yep, it is coming. There it is, in the distance. This guy's camping on, you can see that. There we go. Awesome. That's cool, I love that. A little bit cinematic there with that one. Anyway, while we're doing this, let's do that up down at the bottom um, right hand corner. And the GPS, we've got the speed, which is zero miles per hour, because obviously we're not moving. The gear we're in, which is automatic three, so it starts off in third rather than first. So we're not on a slope, basically. Um, we've got the tr damage to the truck. Now, this truck's not in perfect position conditions. It keeps telling me every time I go through a way station. Um, then we've got uh, then we've got the uh, the fuel, which is uh, nicely topped up. Then we've got uh, the the bed, which slowly goes blue. Then um, we'll go red, and then I start crashing into things because I'm falling asleep at the wheel. Then we've got the envelope, which is sadly underused. Basically, if you want to see how it works, watch the first sort of ten episodes. Yes, watch the first ten episodes of American Truck Simulator. Basically, shows you how to use the bank, how to buy vehicles, uh, where heavy loads are if you've got that DLC. But it should really be used if you sleep in a place. It should. Oh, there's, there's a police car flashing its lights there. Oh, interesting. Um, DLC um, should, should should really be a DLC that gives you special missions. I think that I, I don't even think that's even that hard. You know, they they should just give you a special one that only available via the DLC, and it should be something completely um, insane. That is cool. Something happened there, right? Anyway, so I think that's what they should do. Anyway, next to that we've got the time, which is 4:25 a.m. Um, I don't know. I, I'm hoping the sun comes up soon because it would be nice. Um, below that, we've got a little waypoint flag saying we're going to get it at 7.14.6 a.m. Um, and we've got 3 hours and 18 minutes to travel. And across from that, we've got a lovely sum of money. We've got $229,000 in the bank and a few pennies. Very good. A few extra dollars. A few dollars more. It's that Clint Eastwood movie. It is. One of those things that scarred me for life when it comes to we're playing sort of uh, U.S. things. Back in the uh, the 80s and 90s, um, you know, the the the, the U.K. Pub public was uh, or youth of that day was um, quite quite enamoured by the uh, the American Americanisms that were around. We you know that we, we we had the, the the film and the photos of the of uh, of you know of, of U.S. cities and and other things. So we were quite we quite liked it. You know, we were quite into it. We used to watch you know U.S. sort of. I guess I don't think there were sitcoms. There were but but TV. You know, from the sort of Night Riders and 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 Street Hawk and 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 Airwolf and and all this kind of stuff. We used to watch all of that. We used to avidly watch that on our weekends. The A Team. You know, we avidly watched these things. This is what this is what this is what we were we were sort of into. Those are the those were our. Those were our were, were our sort of the staple of a of a of a British um, sort of TV. And remember, we only had um, three or four channels when I was a, when I was a kid. Um, so 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 we all watched the same things. You know, you had to turn on and watch the same things. We didn't have televisions in every bedroom or anything like that. You'd be lucky if you found a house with two. In fact, the the TV licensing in this country was is was so draconian in the way it isn't so so bad nowadays. But back in the day, you know, you had to have a TV license to have the TV um, and you basically could only have I think it was three or four in the house before you had to pay for us for a second license because you were such a, a huge user of the television you know it was even the days of the TV detective van itself where they used to detect your use of the, the, the of a of a television and, and whether or not you were using it and sucking in those broadcasts that were out there yes those were the days Madness, really. Sun's coming up. We're driving away from it, though, aren't we? We're going, we're going west. But it's coming. It's coming. Coming up, a 
and we're we're coming out of these wow love it the creek down the bottom there sun starting to glisten through the sky i do love the the the, the sun rising in this game it's amazing that just seemed to go up didn't it one notch at time there you know we went through that tunnel the volume of the light just just turned right up i think that's the right word to use as well the volume of the light because it's like it's 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 gloriously sort of showing us showing off as we drive through the the mountains of colorado into another tunnel as we go through I'm assuming I've spelled, I'm pronouncing it correctly, Durango. Probably not. Anybody, I wonder if somebody's got a shortened name for it. I bet there is. I feel it's the kind of thing that has a shortened name. Take this truck. This, this, these, these. This is a very windy road, but it's so awesome. I want to do an outside view of the truck, but but I'm a little bit concerned that we're it's going to get really, it's going to get uh, a bit mad. Look at that. That's bad. That's brilliant, though. Look at that. Oh, shit. That view is amazing. Almost ended up in the back of that truck, though. It was very naughty. I think I'm speeding, actually. Just. Very much crawling up here. There's rocks that have fell down there, it looks like. Boulders that fell off the side of the, the, the cliff. That's what that'll be for. That'll be to stop the boulders where they fall down. Runaway vehicles only. Alright, so you got that's the exit if you've got a runaway vehicle. That's awesome. If you go fast enough, you can jump the entire road. <laughs> no, you can't. I bet you could, though. That's awesome. You can actually drive up here, it seems. What happens if you lose control? Oh, wow. Camera. Let's have a little... Just a, just a nice little nose, this one, this week. Wolf Creek Pass. That's where we are. Amazing. The drone footage over the top, or in this case, computer footage. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow. I think we've hit the perfect time of the day as well, with the rocks getting hit and dappled by the, the, the light. Computers are nowadays are so amazing in comparison to the way they were back in the day. I don't think people realise, I mean, sim simple tiny corners of this is the equivalent of the, you know, postage size corner of this is the what we had resolution back in the day and used to do a lot with it but this is lovely wolf creek pass is beautiful somewhere you'd like to go for a walk oh look he is there you go just what i said look at that wow nice Gorgeous. Quick sup of coffee before we start driving off again. But that was absolutely gorgeous. It really was. Oh, wonderful. Right, let's get out of here. Here we go. There's the Wolf Creek look. Where they were all looking over the edge of. That's amazing. 
I've gone a bit fast. I don't know what the speed limit is. I think it's 25. I guess it's so you don't run away with the uh, truck doesn't run away. That is delicious. Look at that with the mist and the haze in the sky. Some days it's great to be an American truck simulator. Wow. That's some of the footage for this week. To be fair, locked it in at 25 so I don't have to worry about it, so I can just cruise. I'm just cruising off the side of the road. Wow, that is amazing. That looks so great. Person with their truck there just stopped for a view. I'm not surprised. It is glorious out there. Look at that. That's amazing. I'm going to go up to 45 again here. Probably 35 as a as a truck. Oh, 45. Quite surprised. There we go, 45. Looking at the dash in the middle there. That is amazing. That was so worth the, the journey there. Regardless of anything else, this journey's so worth it. But yeah, it was a yesterday was a, a long day, so so I've had a I've had a I've had to go, I'm gonna have to take a take a rest a little bit. But 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 it's. Uh, but it's been it's been worth it. It's been worth it. There's a good Euro Truck Simulator this week if you're watching that as well. Different kind of trucks. I was thinking the other day though, um, back in back in the day when they were when they were selling trucks to to the the UK public uh, as a kid, um, they used to sell you know the the these sort of these sort of long nose ones, uh, but they used to try to sell a lot of the over cabs. There was a great deal of the overcabs, in fact. Um, I don't know whether they were easier to make by um, the, the little um, die-cast um, people's uh, thing, um, but but they certainly sold a lot of the of the uh, of the of the of the smaller ones, if that makes sense. A lot of them. There's the walk down there where that guy was looking over the edge of before, down into the creek itself. Back to 45. Slow down for the tourists, you see, that's what it is. Nope. Not sure what the tractor's doing, but he's just off the edge of the road. Here we go. Just going through here. It's you know, actually taking a great big load through here. It'd been awesome. Yeah, they used to sell a lot of the overcabs. It's really weird, isn't it? How they then that became in, unpopular. They're not they're not as popular as they were. It does make sense. I completely understand it. You know, engine cavity front, um, whatever else is, and I don't think you've got the same um, length and height restrictions that they do in Europe. Because the cabs are a lot longer, and the tra tra uh, the trailers are longer as well. But mind you, saying that you should see some of the streets that we have to deal with. It's not, it's no, there's no block systems. Some of the streets and some of the places that you're going through are absolutely phenomenally small. Even my own city has some of those. Even places I go, I've got things like that. The fact that that back road, I'm surprised. You know, I said about that truck being, uh, you know, in 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 trouble on the on the road. I'm not surprised. You know, one of the trucks that we went past, the road itself was only wide enough really for two cars at most times. And what they must have done is the truck driver must have pushed to the uh, to the to the um, you know left hand side of the road got his wheels into the, the dirt the rate the water has been non-stop we've had nothing but rain recently in the United Kingdom 
um, the water was non-stop and the resulting effect was what we expected which was basically some wheels sank truck dipped to one side and over he went you know tippled on his side and um, worst part about that though is it was carrying livestock and when we looked over as we went past it was full of sheep and um, so so somebody's gonna have to come rescue him and put it upright without the sheep being hurt which is gonna be a real problem so so we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully they've got away okay On we go. State trooper moving the other way. Sorry, I've te left. I've taken the uh, the full GPS off. I'm just using the one on the dash, simply because we're doing what I would call a lovely drive. So, because we're doing a lovely drive, I, I didn't think we needed it. I think we, we're just we're just having a little we're having a little scoot through. It's costing me money doing this, but but it is what it is. There's a man at the top of the balcony there. Just a little drive through, a little bit of flat there. You feel like somebody forgot to build something there. The style of the towns and cities and things like that always confuses me in this game. I mean, if this is something to be accurate, I'm not. The problem is that, that when you talk about movies, right? What movies depict, for the most part, in the, from the United States, is like it's like the ones in the UK. In the UK, there's only one city. It's London. Everybody goes to London. And it all in its combination of countryside and 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 um, city living. When when quite rightfully, it's it's blooming not. It's a it's a great big city most of the time with very little in the way of uh, countryside within it. But but everybody portrays it as the. Do I get speed defence there? I'm not sure why. But anyway, yeah, it depicts it as this sort of idyllic. Um, sort of, uh, sort of a t city, and it's not. It's not really. I'm not, never, never very keen on London. I think, I think it's, I think it's far too much um, focus on it as a, in our country. And, and when we've got many other biggest, big cities, not massive, not the same size as London, obviously, um, but we've got big cities and focus around the country. So I, I often feel it's, <sighs> it's a trick. There's a road there side road there that we could have gone down there was no signs on it it's there it's running beside us look it's going that way with the tractor on it oh I bet it would come out the other side here as well wouldn't it there it is damn Hang on. That one doesn't go that way. I'm putting the... Hang on. Yeah, I know. I want to try it. Try it. It's here. It's not this one. It's this one up here. I'm trying it. We're going. We're going. We're going past it. A new route. I know. I know. But I'm going this way. Wait. I want to try it. This road here is right here. Is is a road. Look. This is a road. What's this? I'm going to open a pack passage. Right now. Awesome. Worth it. When I get to the other end, I can turn around and go back the way I came, which is great. Which is the, the, the why, why I thought well, we might as well do the reverse. Morning. That is cool. 
I love it when we find something new. This is like the road we were on yesterday. Maybe a little less bumpy. But extremely similar. There you go. Added up another added another back passage. A little side passage. <laughs> Fine. It's fine. We loved it. It's a bit of fun. It's what we like. Love a bit of fun. Do you know what? That's what that's what that's what American Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator are all about. They're about fun and hauling. The 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 the, 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 the you know the scenery never then it never it never fails to excite me with its its looks and how it is. It's brilliant. Speed limit here sixty, so we're alright. Giving it a bit, bit of, bit of, giving the truck a bit of beans here. That's a diner of some sort. Sixty. We're flying. Look, combine harvester. Look at that. Are we almost there? Because I want to score at least one town off this time round. We'll leave it, though, next week so that we can do a little uh, one one mission instead of just a little journey. So it's a little bit of free, free roaming, as it's called in the game today. I think we're almost there, actually, looking at the destination. Gotta slow down. Oh, somebody. The car zone is at the bottom of there, look. There's a broken car. Not a what I'd call a good advert. There's a broken car under the car zone. Nice, out, a nice Volvo in front there, big one. Almost at our destination. That's quite good, actually. It's not a bad episode. A bit shorter than usual, but but you you can understand. You know, you're all you're all you're all uh, you know happy working people for the most part. Well, maybe not happy working, but you know what I mean. I'm projecting my my own um, how I feel about things on things. I was I I love I love doing my job. So I'm very lucky in that way. Many people aren't. Oh, there we are. We're in here, but we're not really in here. Yeah, we're in. We're in here, but we're not really in here. But it's fine. We'll pull up, and we'll leave the truck here. Turn the engine off. We'll leave the truck there. And next week we'll 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 see if we can find a mission from here that will take us round a little bit closer to one of our one of the neighbours. But uh, yeah, I did say it was going to be just a little bit of a, a little bit of a trundle. It's been a little bit of a trundle. Thank you for joining me. It was absolutely brilliant, and the journey looked great. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye now. <laughs>